guys, it's Andrea. Welcome back to another Sew With Me where we are working on, I'm terrified my stupid stand's gonna fall over. <laughs> um, we're working on the Farm Girl Vintage 2 quilt, block, doing a block at a time together. This video we're going to be doing, oh, I shouldn't, I guess, be showing you the instructions so blatantly. I can't share <laughs> these patterns. We're gonna be doing the beehive. Now, um, in her quilt, this is a six and a half inch square. So that's what we're gonna do. Some of these squares we're doing are gonna be 12 and a half and some are gonna be six and a half. So they're various sizes. And I'm doing like she's got, uh, I'm putting it together like she's got it put together. Using a little bit of different fabrics though because I pulled out of my stash. As always, I'm doing um, quilty stash blocks. Missouri Star is having their Celebrate Earth Day sale this month, all this month. I'll have an affiliate link and code down below in the description box. Save you 15% off of your entire order. Now, they're celebrating Earth Day by saying use your scraps. Show us how you use your scraps, um, how you store your scraps, etc. Most of this I've chose is the same as Lori's, the Lori Hope Vintage. But for my heart here... And my door, it called for one and a half inch squares. I went for my scrappy box. So these pieces are not necessarily lower help. They're from my scraps. This one and a half inch for the door. And these four one and a half inch blocks for my heart in the center. Those all came from my scrap boxes. And then the two hives. This is Lori's fabric. like Just like pictured. And my background, just like pictured. I don't have to cut these, yay! So I'll go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on my quilty tray, my Missouri Star tray. I got from <laughs> Missouri Star Christmas Advent that I think you're gonna be able to pre-order in April. Don't hold me to it, but I'm pretty sure every year she does, um, in the spring, you can go ahead and pre-order your Christmas Advent and pay half down, because it's pretty expensive, but it's totes worth it. Anyway, <clears throat> these pieces, oh good, this one's not cut up. These pieces, you can tell I started this when I was a complete beginner, because look how I cut my fabric. What? That's a quilty sin. What was I thinking? That was before I knew about saving scraps and stuff, and I wanted to save every piece. I'm just over here ironing this because it's been folded for like three years probably. It's been that long since I worked on this quilt. Okay. Since I'm ironing this, I guess we'll start with this. What the heck are these spots? There is no telling, like, oh, that just makes me anxious to look at that ragged mess. Okay. This, this block, by the way, is called the Busy Beehive block. And this is the fabric for Beehive Till. Till. I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, even this strip out and then I'll just cut my pieces from it. There. That makes me happy. Now this can go back. I hope. I hope I can get all my strips from this. They're pretty small pieces since we're doing a six inch block. So, I, I didn't even get my alphabeties out. I am just losing my mind. Let me get my alphabeties. All right. I was too busy focusing on setting my camera up instead of prepping my station. Priorities. So, we're cutting Beehive 2 out of this fabric. 
as always, I can't tell you all the instructions because um, I can't share the whole pattern, of course. Make sure that's right. Oh, it's a little bit over. Okay. And this is I. Just put my alphabetty on there, pin it, put it on my tray. How big is this? Perfect. Well, this is just working out all over the place. No, ta -ti -ta -ta -ti -ta. Oh, my stereo. J. Bam. Uh, oh my gosh, what are y'all doing to me? Three fourths of an inch blocks? Are you a crazy person? Oh my gosh. Ha what is happening? Look at the size of this thing. Seems are a fourth of an inch. What is this? Teeny tiny, they can, what the heck is that? Oh, we're snowballing the front door. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Lori, you're killing me, girl. Talk about when seams are going to matter. Same size will definitely matter on these tiny guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't need me. Nope. Toss it. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and cut this up into scraps as well. While I've got it out, this is how I do. I know I repeat myself a lot because maybe not everybody sees all the videos, so I try to keep that in mind. But with the theme of the Earth Day, this is this is how I save and do my scraps. Cut these into two and a half and put them in my scrap box. Just like those, those one and a half squares I had to pull out of my scrap box. Saved me from cutting up a bunch of fabric for itty bitty square shapes. It's fantastic. I'm sweating. As usual. Oh, it's hot in here. I gotta go turn the air down. This iron always gets me so hot. Let's do the other <clears throat> beehive fabric. Probably need to iron this. Excuse me for a second. We're going to iron over her real quick. Cool her off. Okay. Oh, these are bigger a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut a one inch strip. I mean one and a half inch strip. Probably gonna need a couple of them. There's E. It's getting hot and hard. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. I'm gonna take my clothes off. I seriously might change shirts here in a second. It's freaking hot, y'all.
Okay. This is G. And we've got F. I'm going to have to cut some more. Got to do a bunch of one inch squares. I if I can get it off of this. I can get a little bit of salvage because Oh, that's cutting it close, so better not. Oh, man. I hate to cut another strip off this just for two one-inch blocks. I could see if I've got some of my stash. Hold on. Got it. Pat out. This is from my stash thing. Now, my tip when you're cutting, working on a quilt and cutting your extra scraps as you go, I have this little in front of my desk, I showed you where I keep. I won't file these into my boxes until I'm done with the quilt. Cause that way, like this, when I needed this, all I had to do was look at my door here with the little cubbies from the last block I did and pull this out. So it makes it very handy. I don't sort them until I'm done with the quilt. So I can get two more one inch pieces off this without having to cut up this fabric anymore. And I'll put this back in my cart. Okay. I went ahead and changed shirts and turned on the air conditioner too. It was 73 degrees in this house. No wonder I was hot. I'll turn it down to 68. Kids will probably be hollering here in a minute. <laughs> They're used to me making it cold though. Can't stand to be hot. Okay, there's my one inch pieces. H. Now this guy I can probably get a one half or out of and he'll go back into my scrap pile. All right. Oh, all we have to do is background. You can tell whoever cut this fabric did a rip style because it's all stringy. Rip style. I'm not a ripper. I'm a cutter. What about y'all? It makes me anxious just to see someone ripping some fabric, but I know that's a legit way to do it. I, I, it just makes me too nervous. Not for me. I'll make this side even. I promise I'm not this anal usually about stuff. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. I'll do one and a half inch strip here. And cut the salvage off. Okay, 
Okay. There's Ada. Lots of one inchers. Bam. The cutting is done, man. Let's get to piecing. Okay. First, stop it, people. Stop it. Scratching up the wall. All right, let's start with this. The door is first. Now this is what's taking those teeny tiny, what is it? Three fourths of an inch squares. This is insanity. We're gonna snowball the corners, the two top corners. So like this, and then so corner to corner. Now you can mark that, or you can just use, like what I do, a seam guide, so you don't have to mark it. It's so little, as soon as you start sewing, you're done sewing. go on to the next so I can chain this. I'm going to get E. Yeah, this quilt is the king of snowballs. We need two of these little D pieces. I love how she does, when we're doing these intricate blocks, I love how she does block by block by block so I don't have to cut the whole quilt. I can just cut each block as I go. That makes me happy too. Now if it's a big quilt that's repetitive, she'll do you'll do all the cutting ahead of time. Like when I did the plaid pines. But this, because every block is so different, you can just go block by block. Kind of like a block of the month. So I'm gonna cut off this extra here on this door, ironer, and I'll do the other side. Somebody gave me a, t oh it was a flying geese tip I think they gave me. I love y'all giving me tips and tricks too because, you know, I haven't been doing this that long. I, uh, you know, however long you do it, you can always learn new stuff. And I definitely can because I'm pretty new to it myself. Little bitty dang thing. This little old thing. I've actually made blocks smaller than this before. It's one of my favorite quilts. I think the smallest ones were like five inches. And then some of those, I had like half square triangles in that that were like this big like less than an inch. Y'all. Woo! She was work now. 
I've showed you that one. I don't remember the name of it offhand, but I've showed you it in a sew and tell. Beautiful quilt. It's Layla, I think it was Layla Boutique fabric in that. I say it was Moon something. I've gone blank. It was a whole book. All right, now I'm gonna snowball this one. Tomorrow's Easter's. Now, it might not be when you watch this video, but when I'm sewing this video, it is Saturday night. S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y, night. There's my door. She's a little wonky, but she's all right. She is character. Now, I get to turn the page. Pippo, would you cut that out? Oh my gosh, Jay. What are you doing, Pippo? Oh, we're gonna put on one of our little heart blocks. Just gonna randomly pull one. We're gonna sew it corner to corner. I usually only get to quilt on the weekends. So I try to take full advantage when I get time on a quilting machine. Okay, this guy's done. I'll set him to the side. And what? Hmm? Was I supposed to have two J's? Um, was I supposed to have two J's? Four. Seriously? I just cut one and I need four. What a brainiac. What a brainiac. Oh my gosh. Hold please. I don't know how I missed that. And I don't even see where the other J's are needed. Like it asks me to cut four of them, but I only see two of them on the instructions. So I'm thoroughly confused. We'll see. I just cut one more. But I can cut more if I need to. Now, G. I get two of these. D. Yeah, one of these is going to be snowballed on one side, and the other one's going to be snowballed on the other side, like so. I would move you to see the ironing, but this freaking tripod is, it take me 10 minutes to get it set up where it's not falling down again. Okay, so I've got one going this way and one going that way. Done with those. 
G's I'm done with. Now L's, the other two L's. We're gonna snowball both of these with H in both corners, both upper corners. There's my other G done. And then do the other side. Just love this fabric, don't y'all? Oh, don't get me wrong, I'm really starting to dig modern kind of fabric as well that's a totally different scheme. But this was my first love and I still love it. These pretty scrappy brats. Not that these reds, I don't think any of these reds are actually Lori's. Okay. I'm gonna move along. We're gonna be attaching, starting to attach this together now. So I'm gonna take one of the G's and attach it. To one of these. Where's my other G? Oh, here. Like this. Oh, wait. Not like that. There's going to be the other red that's under the needle now. We're like starting from the center and going in. Definitely cooling off in here. I would turn my little fan on in here, but it would probably sound very loud to y'all. All right, touch the other side. Now that other piece is in the needle will go on the other side of it. In the meantime, I can put together the bottom of the heart pieces. They look like that. I love that even the heart in this is scrappy. And now I'll put the top of the heart together. Okay. 
Pretty good. Oh, now I'm going to take F. And then uh, triangle these on the ends. putting the B one and a half inch squares on the each side of this one. That F. In the meantime I can put my heart piece together. Ooh. It'll look better once it's together with the same allowances. It'll look more like a heart. clock off over there. I turn it off because it illuminates and I like it to be pitch black when I'm sleeping. Even the lock, clock illuminating, I'm like, too bright! I don't have any idea what time it is. Oh, she looks good. The heart looks good, y'all. Uh, it's a little bit off. It is like an eighth of an inch off. Good enough for me, though. Isn't <laughs> cute? Okay. Now... Take the heart piece needs borders sashing on each side. I just started watching a new show. I'm currently trying to watch Succession. I just started season two of Succession. I'm loving it. Um, that's got the third season's going on right now. Do not tell me nothing about it. No spoilers. But I just started a new show on PBS, Marie Antoinette. Um, I like episode two into it. It's so good. I just think it's fascinating. That poor girl. All right. She was married before she even started. Her menstruation. I mean, menstruation. How disgusting is that? I mean, that's just... What the... Oh. Scared myself. I thought I messed something up. We need to sew this with I. I'm kind of jumping around in the instructions, so... I need to stop gabbing so much and concentrate on what I'm doing. I love this chicken scratch background. It is so stinking cute. Chicken footprints, I guess I should say. Her fabric is so freaking soft too, y'all. 
Okay. Now for this piece, I'm going to put A on each side of it. Sashing A. Stella. She's in her room. I'm going to tell her to tell me what time it is. I showed y'all on my sew and tail the um, first farm girl vintage quilt I did. Right now I've got, um, I actually have a Lori Holt quilt on my bed right now. Peepoo's lounging on it. It's the plaid pines. So this one, this, we can attach to this now. Right. I do not want to go over the tip of my heart. Ooh, hopefully I didn't. Hopefully I didn't. Hopefully I saved that quilt heart. Okay, there's the top of the... Oh, we gotta put this other side on it. I was thinking, what's this fabric? Oh, here's the other J's. There they are. I found them. I found the missing links. So this is supposed to be three inch, okay. okay I'm gonna attach my door onto it. All right, there goes my bedtime alarm. So now I know what time it is. It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. So this will be my bl last block of the night. All right, I can put these two together. I want to make sure it's centered pretty good. There we go. I didn't even look and see if my heart tip survived. Cut another J since I didn't trust the process and cut it correctly. Let me cut it real quick. All right, got the last piece cut. Went and washed my hands and now they, now they need lotion. Oh my gosh, Parker just scared the crap out of me. Had to go tuck Stella in and Say prayers and all that good stuff. I might end up staying up later tonight. Because the Easter Bunny is supposed to come. So maybe we'll do another block. Film another video. So these aren't taking long, man. Okay. Now my last one I was able to cut down... Hopefully this one will be too, because she's not even right now. Whew. Let me get that piece. 
under the needle. Using my scraps to make a quilt as I go. Okay, there's the door. And this will be the last piece. Parker, is that you, Sam, or? Par it's Parker. Let's see what he's up to. Get out of there. No good, as usual. Just like I thought, trash. That, that voice, that uh, audio cracks me up. It's always on Instagram. Excuse my side sewing. They're supposed to be six and a half inches. Oh, I did good job. Well, I did all right. What's that side uneven? I did all right. I'm not gonna say I did good, but it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Sashing will have to work its magic on this piece to make it perfectly square. She's a little wonky. close. Like I said, sashing will fix any imperfections. There it is. Not my best work, but I give it a B minus. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me's. And I'll see y'all the next one.